Uh, hello everybody. I thought I would show you what I've been working on this weekend. I haven't gotten very far yet, but what I've been doing is building the beginnings of a spaceship repair game. And I don't mean, oh no, you're out in space and your spaceship got hit by a meteor. I mean, you own a, sh a shop outside of the moon somewhere and they pull up and they park and you put them on jacks and try and figure out what's wrong. And that means that the idea is that all of the pieces can be uh, removed or put back on and you can adjust them like this and every single piece of the engine that's required to function actually exists in the game world. And it's not just going to be the engine. If I like it, I'll move on to the rest of the spaceship. But the idea would be that this would be a game where you would learn a lot about how these systems actually work while also um, playing around a little bit. The uh, uh, Obviously rocket engines are very complicated but because it is going to be set in the future I can abstract out a lot of the complexity that's related to failure states so I can take out many of the valves uh, and I can take out many of the materials uh, problems and all that stuff because I can do advanced 3D printing and I can do uh, advanced sensors and high durability materials and high uh, heat resistant materials and all that sort of stuff which means that I can get rid of a lot of the things that tend to be obnoxious about real rocket engines and I can focus entirely on how they work so in this case you can see I've mocked up some of these parts and I've started to put some of the parts in more more strongly um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm wiring up the main fuel lines and if you know anything about rocket engines this probably looks very familiar to you uh, this is the F1 fuel intake or something very similar to it um, I'm not actually using the F1 uh, it's just a, a similar sort of engine but the idea is that the fuel comes in and gets spun up and thrust into the firing chamber, into the combustion chamber. Uh, and so I have to wire all that stuff up because any one of these pumps might be what goes wrong. And uh, every single piece has to exist in the game world so that when you try and take the engine apart, you can uh, actually see all the pieces and see which ones went wrong and how they all work. And uh, that, of course, includes the more complicated stuff like this system where it has a turbine where it cools off the engine by running part of its fuel around the engine and then pushes that fuel back into the uh, combustion chamber, partially burned, and all that stuff. It's a lot of fun to, to have that sort of complexity that most people don't think about. And that includes a lot of the stuff that is almost never mentioned, such as how the hell does gimbling work? I mean, you know what it does. It tips the engine. But how exactly does it work? Well, it's just mechanical arms, but you never get to see them because they're always either hidden away or unattached. But all of that stuff um, should be attached to this engine when I'm done with it. I'm not 100% sure that I'll take it anywhere. I may just make an engine that disassembles uh, and reassembles and call that done. But uh, I thought I'd show you that I'm not completely stopped. I'm not just sitting on my butt all day. Well, I, I am, but I'm not just playing video games all day.